Similar protests are planned in the South Sound tonight, demanding justice for a man who died in police custody there. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Rabel, once again reporting from home. And I'm Monique Minglavin from the Cairo 7 Studios. Now, video showing Tacoma police taking down Manuel Ellis on the night he died has created an uproar. Tacoma's mayor is calling for those officers to be prosecuted. But the police union is pushing back and hard, accusing the mayor of using inflammatory language before an investigation is done. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is live in Tacoma at the intersection where Ellis died back on March third. Shelby. Monique, as you said, this is the intersection where he died, and this is also where that video that you've seen was taken. Last night, Tacoma's mayor spoke passionately. After watching that video, she says the officers should be fired, but the police union spoke today, and they're firing back. Just arrest him! Oh my God, that looks so scary. This alarming cell phone video gives us a glimpse into the final few minutes of Manuel Ellis's life. In it, you see two Tacoma police officers take down the 33 year old in the middle of the street. He just starts punching him like in the face, just punching and punching him. And uh, he punched him about 10 times. Uh, I was screaming, stop hitting him, stop hitting him. Um, just arrest him for whatever. Sarah McDowell took the video March 3rd. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department says Ellis was in distress and assaulted an officer. McDowell says she didn't see that happen. In the second video, you can hear the officer's orders. Put your hands behind your back. They were tasing him too. Like you could just hear all of the commotion. The medical examiner ruled Ellis's death a homicide. As I watched that video, I became even more enraged and angered and disappointed. I don't get to take this skin color off every day. Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodard spoke with raw emotion as she demanded action. And the officers who committed this crime should be fired and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. But Local 26, the union which represents Tacoma Police, wrote a scathing letter demanding the mayor retract her statement. They said, Mayor Woodard's reckless, inflammatory language only escalates anger instead of unifying our city and awaiting a full report of facts. Mayor Woodard's blatant and concerted disregard for the rule of law serves only one purpose, which is to undermine the constitutional rights of all citizens. The officers involved in this tragedy must be afforded the same rights as all citizens. This afternoon, the Tacoma City Council voted unanimously to send a request to the governor's office for an independent investigation. Now, I'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock and also at 6. We're expecting to hear from Tacoma's mayor once again. We'll bring you more on that coming up in just an hour. Reporting live in Tacoma, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.